Welcome to the Low Res Life. My name is Jason, and this is Completionist Jim, the series where I disappoint my parents by depriving them of the grandchildren they so desperately desire, and instead, I devote all my time and energy into doing the impossible, beating RuneScape. In the last episode, we sent a bunch of revenants, but I feel like it's time to shift gears a little bit, and we're here at TOA. The long-term goal here is going to be 100 expert mode KC. And while I'm doing that, I want to learn and familiarize myself with all the more advanced mechanics of TOA because I want to get my Fang kit. I want to get the 500 invocation completion. I want to do a bunch of CAs while I'm here, maybe some pet transmogs. But uh, that's going to be kind of long-term thinking. First, I just got to get comfortable again. Let's take a quick look at the log just to know where we're starting off. Although I have the shadow, I only have three purples. The shadow was actually my very first purple. I got it at 11 KC before the thread. <laughs> anyway, still kind of new with this content, so let's get back into it. Feel it out a bit. All right, uh, 225 to warm up. It was absolutely awful. <laughs> I did not do well at all. I got a lot of rust to brush off. It's been a while since I've been here. It's the first one of the episode. Might as well have a nice little slow walk, a little slow build up. It's going to take a while for me to get, uh, get used to things again, but it was a PB. So for 220 solo... Not the worst I've ever done. And white to begin. Gonna be expecting a lot more whites to come, but that is a okay. Absolutely awful. Never mind, it's not okay at all. <laughs> Called a cactus fine. Oh, I don't even want to go back inside. That one was definitely better. About two minutes faster overall. Not gonna milk it, just gonna look and this white. Now, I know I said I was going to be doing a lot of amethyst mining, and to be fair, I have, uh, but star mining is just significantly faster XP, especially when you consider that for a while I've still been having to boost in order to do amethyst, but uh, very soon, one more tick here, we will no longer have to boost for our amethyst mining. That right there is 92 mining. We can now officially mine amethyst without having to worry, without having to use preserve and light bearer and all that bullshit. So in the future, still gonna be seeing plenty of crash stars. It's just a lot more AFK when I'm playing Baldur's Gate or editing all the other things uh, i'm currently editing right now i'm editing episode four we're, we're on episode seven uh I, I generally i try to release one episode per month and an episode takes me anywhere from three weeks to a month to make so i have a couple in the can but i'm pr it's pretty much one for one you know about 200 hours of gaming a month an episode is anywhere from 150 to 200 hours so uh yeah Making some progress, getting some gains, coming that much closer to maxing. And there's a little T A. No, C A. What am I what am I talking about? It's late at night. Ooh, a thread. And yeah, there's another little C A just for fun. Chompington. I did use a lot of uh Prayer to do that, though. Unfortunate. Ooh, white. Ooh, seeds. Helpful spirit who? Who? Not me. I don't need any. I don't need any help. Uh, I turned everything down to a 150 just to go get that real quick. So, yeah. Clearly just a white. But, uh, yeah. Busting out some more CEAs. And there is another CA. You are not prepared. I entered the raid with no supplies, and I only used supplies found in raid. Still another 150, so not expecting a purple, and of course not. But uh, time to turn the invocations back up, because there's not really anything that I have left that I could... Nice. Dragon darts. From what I understand, there's nothing I have left that I could do as a solo for normal TOA. i look at it real quick. Look at all the tasks. Everything is complete. Perfect atmakin. Need to be in a group of two or more. 
Oh, I guess I could try the speed runner. Uh, 18 minutes is kind of quick. What did we do there? Uh, 26 minutes was... And 30 minutes was the total completion time. So probably can't do that one until we get some significant gear upgrades. Uh, perfect. Got to do two more on all three of the perfect tasks. So uh, yeah, it's just the speed run, which I probably need like ancestral or like uh, Virtus robes in order to complete. Because I'm still rocking my Arams right now. Um... Yeah, pretty much done with normal mode CAs. I'm sure I still have plenty of CAs for uh, expert. Expert TOA. Yeah, there's still tons in here, but... Uh, oh, just 25 completions. I'll do that before this ends. Uh, yeah, completing all of the bosses with all of the invocations active is one of those. Um, yeah, it'll be a little bit difficult. I'll slowly start working on some stuff, though. Ooh, white. Ooh, seeds. Now, I have just done something kind of interesting. I've been watching some uh, some YouTube videos, trying to learn, expand my knowledge uh, at TOA. And I've learned about this mixed hide business. Uh, because of its stab bonus, uh, it's actually better, higher DPS than the Bando's armor when using the Fang. So I'm going to give this little test run, see how this treats us. Uh, and then I also got an entire extra set just because I can fill out a spot in here. Okay, now I know this looks kind of silly, but I, I think this is going to be my new gear setup. Going to test it out. Uh, technically, I could probably just not bring my crystal armor. Uh, and instead, I could just bring, like, a blowpipe instead for range, but I'm not entirely comfortable with that yet. I'm going to do small changes at a time. Uh, this time, I'm bringing the Void Waker. Going to try to figure out that uh, spec combo on um, on the Wardens and stuff. But, uh, yeah, going to give this a little test run. All right, well, I've been getting PBs almost every single kill. That one I did not, but uh, it felt good. Very least. I also did things a little bit differently. Regardless, I'm consistently completing my 300s, which is nice to see, because I only have 13 KC. I don't have that many. Another white. It is to be expected, though. I only have like a 1 in 25. But hey, all of these seeds are going to go uh, very far. It's going to be nice to have. And we got some more new PBs. It's feeling pretty good. Yeah, I just brought the Void Waker, no BGS this time. I'm still really bad at Red X and Baba. I need to get used to that. Oh, I got it, the purple dude. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was running up. I wasn't expecting it at all. Okay, okay. <laughs> First purple. It's like 5 a.m. I gotta chill out, but God, I'm not gonna be able to sleep after this. You know we're going back to back. Here we go. What do we see? No more milking. What is it? What is it? Okay, it's a collection log slot for me. Wait, is it not? Oh, I have to pick it up first, don't I? There it is. Okay, we got a second mask. Okay. Hey, I love to see it, man. There we go. Collection log is all we could ever hope for. And then some. I still need uh, my own fang, which is interesting. <laughs> I've gotten... Dude... I've actually gotten crazy lucky. You almost see like you almost always see a bunch of light bearers and wards, and secondly, you see a lot of fangs. But like I've I've gotten, I I've skipped the most common items so many times. Oh, I'm cheesing. I'm cheesing right now. All right, back to back. Let's go. All right, let's fortify this helmet real quick with the armadillo helmet I got last week. Hell yeah. We are so close to two full sets. That's awesome. Okie dokie, time for the B to B purple for me. Oh, never mind. It's a white. White again. Ooh, Breach of the Scarab. White. Crap. Caucasian.
The RNG was not on my side for this here kill. It was another slow one, lots of zeros, but that right there brings us up to 400 kill count at Hispori. Uh, I want to take a look at the high scores real quick. Let's see. AC. Oh, we got a compost bucket for it too. <laughs> nice. Let's see. What rank am I with 400 KC? Uh, oh, do I have to do level? Level Hispori? Uh, okay, 3,342, not too shabby, but, uh, yeah, 400 KC, that's, uh, that's wild. So I've been playing this, uh, Group Iron Man since the day of Group Iron Man release, and, uh, I've missed plenty of days doing Hespori, but, um, I still do it pretty religiously, not gonna lie. I just gotta say, I have been really struggling to learn this Red X Baba method, and I finally did it right, that raid, but oh my god, dude. I've I've literally died probably 10 or 12 times just to Baba because of the Red X method. Either I fuck it up and I just start tanking, or it's like I'm not paying attention to the HP, and I Red X and just get walk the path, or, or whatever it's called, it's just right into the pit. And it's just, oh my god, it's been so frustrating. I got it that raid, I still have lots more to learn. I gotta up my consistency with it, but... Thank god, man, it's starting to make sense. <laughs> well, many red X deaths at Baba later, we finally completed a raid, and it's a white. Ooh, 16 Toad Flax and Dragon Dart Tips. Really good. And another white. Ooh, 11 Renars. Oh, look at that. A new personal best. I think I just got lucky with Walk the Path. I had like a level 1 Krondis, which is my new uh, final boss. I used to start with Krondis, but uh, ever since I started learning Red X, I've been starting with Baba. White again! 16 Toad Flex. Oh my gosh, that was my absolute cleanest Baba yet. I did not get hit a single time. I did not drop Red X a single time. I uh, I didn't use any like partisan specs. Like, oh, I'm, I am so happy with that progress. I wish I was recording it so I could show you, but I, oh my gosh, that was, I feel good about myself. And a white, cash runes, stockpiling those. Ooh, and that there, right at the end of the Baldur's Gate session, perfectly timed, is the 93 mining. Another white, cash runes. A perfect apnikin. Good job. Hell yeah. Yeah, I stayed mostly full HP there. And I got Expert Tomb Looter for that. That was my 25th. Hey, there's a 6.66% chance, okay? Alright. <laughs> White it is. Another cash runes. Oh my goodness, it was a bit of a close one, but I did it, and I did it by myself. I've been struggling to get a 350 all day. I felt like my previous 350 to get this Masori Assembler was a little bit, uh, you know, cheesed because I was kind of carried by my buddy Junior. But uh, we sent, I, I sent a bunch of them today and uh, I finally got a completion in a Deathless. Not rewarded, it's a white. But if I drop this Masori Assembler, I will get myself a new kit. And now I feel much more deserved <laughs> wearing this assembler. Uh, eventually, we're going to be turning up the invocations up to 400s and hopefully 500s in the future. But uh, I still got a lot of learning to go. I'm still struggling a little bit. Another white. So many cash of runes. Back to 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 back Good old-fashioned white and a jewel of the sun. Torstal seeds, love to see it. White, ooh, double seeds. Whitey, white, white, white. Snappy bees. 
Ooh, look at that, 96 fletching. I've been spending a lot of time mining amethyst and uh, decided to make all of it into ammo. I'll give you a quick update in a sec. And here we are, finished up all of the fletching. We go to, over to the group storage, gonna toss it all in there. We now have 10,000 amethyst darts and arrows in group storage. Along with, I think I have 10,000 personal, yeah, arrows, and I have no idea how many darts I have. Uh, 4,000 darts. I probably have another close to 5,000 stored away. Plenty more amethyst to be mined. We're still only 93 uh, mining. Need another three levels of fletching to go. It'll come passively. So if I just continue sending these like general 300s, it's a 1 and 25. Oh, yes, dude. We got a purple. We're getting lucky. We're getting lucky at TOA. No milk. We open it right away. Oh, come on. There's so many collection lines I could get. I still need a fang. I still need pants. Oh, god damn it. One. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll see lots of light bearers throughout our journey here. That is fine. Uh, we have enough light bearers for the whole team, so that will honestly just go. Maybe I just keep that one because it's only 1.8 mil right now. Uh, I don't expect it to like rise in price anytime soon, so I don't even think it's really worth putting in desk coffer. I might as well just stack those. Okie dokie, the back to back one to two. Why? Okay, yep. yep, 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 yep. Makes sense to me. What do we see? Yes, <laughs> absolute garbage. Ooh, a leak clue. The white. First raid of the day on a Saturday. Many more to come. White. Garbage white, too. That sucks. Ooh, 16 Toad Flax and Dragon Dart tips. Okie dokie, boys. So uh, I just got a brand new microphone. So let me know in the comments below if this is better than my previous mic setup. But ultimately, new mic does not equal better RNG. Another white. And we got 40 expert modes. Another white. Ooh, double seeds. White again. Ooh, snappy deeds. Holy shit. I finished that raid with 40 charges left in my shadow. <laughs> I, I almost got screwed at the end. That's crazy. Quick little update. Since I was running out of chaos runes, I gotta buy some more, which means I need GP. Did a little bit of alk. Time to go back to the scar essence mine. Okie dokie, we spent 10 mil, we got ourselves some chaos runes, did all that with the Scar Essence Mine, uh, that'll stockpile us for a little while. White trash, just like me. For most of my kills so far, I've just been sending solid 300s, but uh, I'm slowly going to be increasing the invocation, getting more comfortable with higher level raids. Just finished a 350, felt pretty comfy about it. I'm gonna be dropping uh, my Masorian, picking up a kit every time. Wait, what? 350? Masori Assembler on the ground? Don't, wait, I thought you could stack kits. I thought you could collect the kits, brother. What? What? I don't know what's going on. Snappy these and dragon dart tips. Love it. 700k. What do I white and an elite? Oh my god, boys. I got a purple. I got a purple. <laughs> oh, thank god, bro. Alright. Uh I'm still I'm still trying to get these uh these Masori. Uh, kits. So I'm gonna drop that for a second. See if that'll work. Solo 350. What do we see? 
Oh, okay. I'll take it. That's our fifth, and that's the first on my collection log right there. That is a collection log. Pop up. Hell yeah. yeah. And I still I didn't get the Masori Assembler. I didn't get the kit. Uh, I think it's because I have one in my bank. I think I just can't stack these anymore. Oh, that was number 700 in my collection log as well. Fuck yeah, making progress. A little bit delayed. Also, I turned on stretch mode, so that might look a little different. But time for the back-to-back. -back. Yeah, wait. What did I expect? Trash loot. Oh my gosh, another 350, another purple boy. Let's go! All right, dude, I have actually gotten so lucky on purples. I've only sent, what is it, uh, 43, and I already have three. This is my fourth. Nutty, 6% chance for a purple, and what do we get out of it? Another light bear, god damn it. All right. Stacking them up. Okie dokie, raid complete, back to back, white. Seventeen toad flax, you love to see it. Okay, expert tomb raider, fifty expert modes completed. Are we rewarded? Never lucky. Trash. Well, we've hit a nice little milestone with 50 expert mode TOAs, so I'm going to take a little break. Uh, the new quest has been out for a little over a week now. What's it called again? Tears of Guthic? No. Uh, Guthic Sleeps? Something. <laughs> Wild Guthic Sleeps, that's what it's called. I remember now. Uh, so we're going to be doing that quest real quick, and then uh, we might kill some tormented demons for a little while. Yo, so in the middle of the quest, I discovered that this little guy, the, the Broav, the Brav, he's like a pet now. Look at him! <laughs> Unofficial pet update, the Brav. I mean, I got, I got the, uh, look, I got the pet rock, and where's the Hellcat? I got a Hellcat in here, too, so, hey, might as well, you know? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? I had to kill one of the elite dark knights. And it dropped me 55 onyx bolt tips? Along with the plate legs that I was actually looking for? Like, what? What is this NPC? Plus, they're like safe spotable? Why? Why is that a thing? Wait, why is that guy? I don't want that guy on me. Damn. And there we have it. Back up to 313 well i guess not back up to but you know we, we got the quest cape again that's what it's really about uh that's actually a shitload of xp uh none of it is really applicable i guess thieving and hunter is pretty good it doesn't give me any levels though got me close to a thieving level actually ooh, it got me really close to a hunter level as well let's go check out some tormented demons see what we can get up to all right, first tormented demon killed, unending torment unlocked. Uh, I'm not using the arc light currently. I should actually. Oh, hold on. Uh, I should actually probably bring the the ash sanctifier. That'd probably be really good here. Otherwise, I'll be burying most of those. I'll stick those in there. And onwards we go. So I'm still kind of trying to figure this out. It seems like when they change styles, uh, I don't know what the indicator is yet. Oh, there's that thing, though. And I've been decent about dodging those so far. Uh, I'm not using the arc light just because, see, that's free. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm not using the arc light because I don't have very many charges for it. And I really don't want to go get a bunch more charges. Because I'm already going to have to get a lot when, once I get the upgrade item for it. Ooh, collection log. The Gathixian Gethi Temple Teleport. Interesting. Uh, I, I only got like three kills that trip. 
so I'm really glad I got that. I don't know. Actually, I guess I could be. That's just high elk and run. That's right. It's run energy. Regardless, uh, glad I got that. I'm still not fully understanding the uh, the prayers and stuff here, but that's just part of the process. Through fire and flames. Ooh, that was that was a whole bunch of stuff. That was a really good drop. Elite clue and dragon arrow tips and another CA. I thought there was just going to be one CA. Is that for? No, that can't be through for like 25. What is that for? Hold on. Whilst their shield is inactive? Dude, I didn't even realize these guys had shields. I don't know what's going on. Is there more for Tormented Demons? So I've been killing these Tormented Demons for a little while now. I almost got 50 kills. And uh, things are going pretty smoothly. I'm starting to get the uh, the timing for the prayers and the swaps and everything. It's pretty much just a different uh, demonic gorilla type of a deal. Feels very similar. But uh, I've been using the Fang the entire time, and I know for damn sure the Arc Light is going to be much better than the Fang. But I only have, let's see, like 5,000 charges. Okay, so I have 5,500 charges. I need 10,000 charges once I get the Synapse, and I don't have any more, uh, what are they called, in my bank. Uh, I think I have one more. Yeah, I have one Ancient Shard, but I got seven totems. So I'm thinking... I'm going to go kill Skatizo for a little bit, see if we can get anything fun, maybe a pet. I do not believe I have the pet on this account for Skatizo. We do have the jar, which is kind of curious. Uh, yeah, no pet, no claws, and no totem, but we do have the jar. <laughs> we got the jar after the, after the drop rate changed. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go kill some Skatizo, see how many ancient shards we get. And if we get above like 10,000 charges in my arc light, then I'll just use the arc light up until like I have 10,000. And then I, you know, I I'm always going to save 10,000 for the synapse, but uh, I'll use any extras that I got. Also, we'll be doing all of the clues, I'm taking this elite clue over there to drop it because there's the possibility of getting elites, but it's always a guaranteed hard. So I'm going to go do seven hards, still stacking up clue caskets. Holy shit. <laughs> that that looked like a lot. It's just a lot of items. Elite and a hard though. That's nice to see. Only one ancient shard. That's the main thing we're looking for is just a large amount of ancient shards. Number two, some torstals. Another one shard kill. Sad to see. Kill number three. Rune play legs, two shards that time. Okay. Not looking good so far. Kill number four. Oh, we got the pet, we got the pet. Yes, dude. 30 KC Skotos. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> I did like a hundred some odd kills on my main. Actually, I I'm over exaggerating. I think I did like 70 or 80, but up there on my main and I never got Skotos. And I, I do have this pet on leagues, I think on both accounts, both my main and this account, I believe has this on leagues. It's it's just such a quintessential pet. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, we added another one to the list. Even if we don't get a whole lot of things, uh, even if we don't get a whole lot of ancient shards, just getting a pet is worth it, man. Half the drop rate. I think it's a 1 in 60, right? I think so. Uh, how many pets is that now? What, what, what are we looking at? 9. We're almost at 10. I could get 10 realistically at any time if I want to go chompy chick or something, but uh, I, want, I want my 10th pet to be like an actual good one. Cool one. Uh, let's keep going, dude. Let's keep going. Three more to go. Uh, what is this? Our fifth? Do we see anything special? Nope. More money. Wait, did we just see five? Five ancient shards? Yo, we just doubled our ancient shards in one kill. Okay, okay. So that right there is 3,000 charges. Uh, gosh, I, I still don't think we're hitting 10,000 in these last two. We'll see. Yikes, dude. I really Oh, we got the Dark Claw. Oh, okay. Two collection log slots. Hell yeah. Look at my HP and my prayer, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I risked it for that one. We only got one shard, but we got a dark claw out of that. Hell yeah, man. Oh, this is a good idea. I'm glad I came here. <laughs> I'm glad I came here. We only have one thing left on the collection log for Skatizo, and that is the Dark Totem. I think that's a 1 in 128. I remember Verf got stuck on that, on his ultimate, uh, on his, what, what's it called? The, the, the chunk account? On his chunk account, he, he got stuck going after the Dark Totem. So hopefully I do not also get stuck going for a Dark Totem. I'm just now realizing I made a pretty major mistake. I forgot to go and get more food. I am all out of food. I also forgot to drop my hard clue. So even if we do get the kill, we're not getting a hard clue out of this one. Because this is an instance. I can't just drop this. I mean, sure I can, but oh man. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh, yikes. I don't even think I get this kill, honestly. He's already hit me with so many rain mage attacks or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, we're totally dead. There's no way this works out for us. All right, let's watch. Watch me drop to my death here. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh, no! He has one! He has one HP, I hit a seven! There's no way! No! No! <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm an idiot, dude. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh. <laughs> well, we messed up a little bit extra, because also, I don't know what I forgot. Uh... Skotos was just following me. <laughs> he wasn't appearing because we were like going in and out of instances, and sometimes that's a little funky with RuneScape. But uh, not only did we waste a totem and a hard clue and 210,000 gold, we also wasted like what is it, a mill <laughs> to get my pet back? <laughs> I guess I guess I do have some pet rerolls, so we'll go get that real quick. But <laughs> oh, what a what a silly, stupid mistake! It's early in the morning. I that's that's my excuse. What's your excuse, fuckers? Oh boy, the walk of shame. Talk to Probita. Or we check reclaimable pets. Scotos. Ah, oh, so sad. I do have one free reclaim token. Reclaim for one token, right? Do, where do I see my tokens? Reclaim. You need at least one reclaim token. I have to buy it. What? What? What other pet did I have? Because I have two young glyphs. I must have lost a pet at some point and lost my token. Ah, oh, dude. The walk of shame continues. I got to go all the way to the bank. <laughs> Get a mill. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of GP on me either. I think my cash stack right now is like 3 mil, if that. Let's see. Oh, what a punishing mistake. <laughs> oh, man. Also, we have 12 Ancient Shards, so that'll give us uh, 4,000 charges, which puts us just under the 10,000 that we need. That'll put us at like 9,500, so we will not be using the Arc Light uh really at all to be killing these guys up until we upgrade it and even once we get a synapse we're gonna have to go like burst some smoke devils or something for a while anyway get ourselves a reclaim token get scotos back all right let's go shamefully put him in his house <laughs> So, I did a little digging on how you actually upgrade the arc light into the ember light. And as it turns out, uh, it, they incorporated, they introduced a new mechanic called infusion. When you expand, when you use a charge on the arc light, it infuses. So, if you use an entire full arc light, all 10,000 charges, you will actually infuse it 100% and you don't need any charges after that. Uh, which means I can just totally use my arc light freely. Uh, I have nine and a half thousand charges or so. Uh, so I'm still going to need to get some more charges because it'll never reach 100% infusion at this rate. 
Um, but all I need is three more. What are they called? Three more crystals. I always forget ancient, whatever they. Yeah, ancient crystals. Yeah, ancient crystals. Regardless, I get to use this freely now because there's this whole infusion mechanic that I never even knew about. I uh, love it. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Okay, we got our first drop. Our a uh, burning claw. It's not exactly the one that we wanted, but you know what? We need two of those anyway to make the item. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So I uh, I just got a brand new mouse. Uh, my previous mouse was double clicking for the past like week or so, and it was really screwing me up. I couldn't like my last three TOA clips. Uh, they were all with the double clicking mouse and I died quite a few times <laughs> in making those last three TOAs. But uh, I got a new mouse now and I, I had to mess around with the DPI. I'm sitting at 700 right now. Kind of bounce it between 700 and 600 because this mouse is significantly lighter than the previous mouse and i'd like a heavy mouse personally uh so not the best purchase but hey it was kind of an emergency credit card purchase to be perfectly honest with you um but yeah i'm, I'm learning a whole new mouse uh trying to get things similar feel wise but uh yeah dude just that's that's exciting I don't know why I decided to mix the update in with the drop, but dude, that's so cool. Burning Claw. I think it's also because I'm like trying to drag it out a little bit, see if we can get the back-to-back uh, -back in the same clip. But I doubt it. Back-to-back. -back. Come on. No, Latin time. Ooh, I just got 98 defense, dude. One more to go. I did all of 97 to 98 here at the Tormented Demons. Now, I've been doing almost entirely Tormented Gorillas. Or, what are they? Tormented Demons? <laughs> I keep mixing them up with Demonic Gorillas. Uh, I've been doing entirely Tormented Demons for multiple days now. Almost a week, probably. Uh, the kills go relatively slow. Uh, maybe, like, 30, 40 kills an hour. Uh, we're closing in on 500 kills, but we still have three combat achievement diaries to complete. So we're going to bust out some of those real quick. That right there is rapid reload. I almost died doing it. I still might almost die doing it. <laughs> all right, rapid reload done. Now we just got to uh, kill them all pretty much at the same time. Uh, that's what the venom is for. Well, fuck, dude. I only got two times the torment. God damn it. I only got two times the torment. I gotta go and do this whole fucking thing again to kill all three. Oh, I hit too many zeros, bro. I hit too many zeros. So sad. All right, I think I have a better idea of how to do this, though. I think I do have a much better idea. I think next time I'm going to take the Heavy Ballista and take advantage of the, um, the, like, rapid-fire accuracy thing after they all drop their shields, after they all do the little roar thing. So, uh, that, that was a big learning experience there. It took me a couple tries even to get that one. <laughs> but I, I started to get the rhythm down for, uh, prayer flicking and moving at the same time, so... We'll, we'll try this again. We'll try this again. Is that it? Yes, dude. God damn it. Finally. I had to... Oh, my gosh. I died probably three times in the making of that CA. Oh, so stupid, dude. Oh, thank God that's done. <laughs> we got all the CAs done for these stupid things. Now we can just go back to killing them normally. Oh, my goodness. What a waste of 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is a rare sight indeed. Level 94 Hunter. <laughs> uh, we're still passively just training Hunter, you know, doing our redwood birdhouses once or twice a day. I'm not really super religious about it, uh, which is why it's rare to see. But uh, ultimately, yeah, we'll just keep passively working on some Hunter up until I decide to uh, go back to Hunter Contracts, chase the Quetzal and other pets.
All right, we have just hit 500 Tormented Demon kills, which is the drop rate for both the Burning Claw and the Tormented Synapse. Uh, so here's the plan, because I do want to get back to TOA. I want to get back to attempting 500s, because that is the next goal to get my Fang Ornament Kit. Um, I'm going to send more Tormented Demons until I get one more drop. So whether that be, or maybe I'll send another 500 kills at most. I'm not going over a thousand kills <laughs> right now. Um, so yeah, either a thousand or we get a drop. Well, I was just doing this elite clue that I got from the Tormented Demons and I got the King Black Dragon step. Every time I get this step, I go do a full envy, but I also <laughs> have a Black Dragon task. So you know what? I, uh, I think I'll just go do the whole task. Why not? <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm looking at my task now. Apparently that's from Crystalia. That's from the Wilderness Slayer. I did not realize that was from the Wilderness Slayer. And technically, even though you have to run through the Wildy to get here, this does not count as the Wilderness. Why am I taking so much damage? The fuck? Oh, god damn it, dude. I've gotten so many of these seeds. Not not specifically the dragon fruit seeds, just seeds in general. I got like a spirit seed, a mahogany seed, there's a magic seed, and they're all like well over a thousand drop rate, so... <gasps> Bummer! I'm sitting also at uh, almost 700 KC. I want to get out of here. Oh! <laughs> okay! Okay! We got another Burning Claw. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a Synapse, but you know what? We get the claws outright. That is fucking awesome. Okay, let's go craft these things. I mean, I, I, I got to send it back to back first, but hell yeah, dude. We got the drop. We are free. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't anything for a back to back, but it does extend my trip. I love getting these little prayer drops and shit. We'll do a few more. We'll finish out the Envy. Well, no back-to-back. -back. Nothing else on the rest of that trip. But we now have two Burning Claws, which we can use on each other to make the actual wieldable Burning Claws. This is awesome, dude. The 30% spec, so I get three. And they are Slash. They do have a Stab option, though. So I have no idea whether or not these are good at TOA. I haven't looked into it at all. But I think they're at least worth a try. But the first place we're going to be trying these bad boys out is here at Hespori. I uh, have been, my PB is one second off of the Master CA. So uh, we're going to see if the upgraded spec weapon gets me there. Because I've been using the Dragon, uh, the DDS, the entire time. So finally we got an upgraded spec weapon. I mean... What I was really looking for were like dragon claws. That's kind of what I was waiting on before this drop came out. And these are pretty much budget dragon claws. So I think we get it done. I, uh, we hit pretty small and <laughs> I just messed up a lot. <laughs> so it's it's late at night. I, I usually do this like three hours earlier in the day, but it wasn't grown yet. So regardless, let's see. 411 KC. It's a wild amount of Hespori. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we'll be continuing to, to attempt the Hispori record every day. And now that I have the Burning Claws, I think realistically it just comes down to a little bit of RNG and actually good mechanics. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't just be bad. Well, it's that time of the episode again. Time to recap what we did. This episode took 215 hours of gameplay. So if you made it to the end, if you made it to the recap, please drop a like. Drop a sub, leave me a comment, letting you know that you actually made it this far. We're looking at an increase of six total levels. We ended up catching back up on our quests. Uh, we ended up getting 12 combat tasks, pretty much all of those from TOA and Tormented Demons. And we ended up getting, what is that, six collection logs. I know it's not a lot, but the biggest piece of progress that we actually made was knowledge. It was learning TOA mechanics, specifically Red X at Baba. I was an absolute stubborn bastard and I didn't just go into a practice raid and just, you know, send an hour of red X attempts w where I could easily die. I just like tried to send normal raids with the hardcore invocation on. So it was like, if I messed up, which I did a lot, this episode probably cost me like 
12 mil in deaths. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Sometimes that's the price we pay for being stubborn and uh, for learning things the hard way. Now, taking a look at the loot tab, we ended up scooping up 75 mil in this episode, most of that coming from TOA and Tormented Demons. We got our two burning claws, which gave us this beautiful little item that I'm wearing right now. Plenty of bird house runs and all that. A couple random boss uh, sessions, you know, KBD, General Grardor. But mostly it came down to TOA. We got four purples and our 50 expert mode KC. A fang, which was a collection log slot. The helmet, which was also a collection log slot. And then a couple dupes, which, you know, let's just bank value over time. Plus, we ended up getting our ninth pet on the account, Skotos. Uh, and I'll tell you what, purple is my favorite color, and that pet is badass. And with that, the episode ends. Next episode, we're going to be wrapping up our goals over at TOA. 100 expert mode completions. Fingers crossed for the 500. I don't exactly know how tough it's going to be, but... I am worried. Regardless, outside of that, we're also going to be starting Araxor next episode, so keep an eye out for that. If you guys want some spoilers, you guys want to follow the progress live, you can come check me out on Twitch. I'm not streaming a whole lot right now, but I'd very much like to start. I used to be very consistent, and you know what? The more people that I have over there holding me accountable, the more likely it is that I'm actually going to stream. And with leagues coming up in two months, I need to build that habit now. <laughs> the leagues are some of my favorite... Uh, times in runescape i always go hard i go for the dragon tier i go for those high score rankings i go for those pets so if you guys want to check all that out go over and follow me on twitch anyway i love you all i appreciate you have a good night